Hey guys, this is Roger Moore here on Affinity Extra. We're here to be extra and we're here to celebrate gospel music of black origin. I'm here with a, a with not so much a gospel music thing you would say but uh something which is um, cropped up in our community you know we've been talking a lot about um covid and um situations and people's opinions and governments and how people are suffering with mental health and um but there's other parts of health and well-being that are we dealing with within the church now i am having a conversation and i'm going to explain the story because a couple of weeks ago we've seen somebody got uh in nottingham got um uh, kind of like you know summons you know some 10 grand thing and i'm like whoa like what's going on on and i'm like you know what on earth is going on here here say she say what say this say that's all i've been hearing pure things but anyway we're gonna go direct to pastor shares alongside isaiah dyer and we're gonna be um having a um a real talk with him and about you know uh what exactly happened what's this about why are you doing it and you know what we, we're gonna get into it don't worry guys we're gonna hear what exactly happened and 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 from from their side of things and i'm gonna ask them some questions as, as you know i'm kind of edgy and i want to i want to really get the heart of what's going on here and i we, we want to have by the end of this conversation i want us to actually get to a, a place where we go wow okay what am i doing yeah so this is roger here and i think extra i'm going to introduce pastor shares and isaiah dyer how you doing guys I'm all right thank you Cool, cool. I'm good, Rod. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, safe, bro. Safe, safe, safe. Right. I'm going to just go straight to it, guys. Now, I'm not going to say any opinions and what the article says and this and that says and that says. Um, I'm going to get you guys a perspective. But I want to start off with Pastor Shares. Yeah. Can you just give me what has what you've been guys been up to? Um, we want to, we're going to touch base what happened a couple weekends ago. But what have you been up to for the past? I've been getting clips. I've been seeing clips from different angles, whether it's DJ Play Cam, whether it's um, Isaiah, different um, social uh, of a, uh, of somebody in the car park, you know, and I'm going beeping horns, on, uh, singing songs, it, whether it's cold, whether it's in a coat and jacket, and doing stuff after stuff every week. I've been seeing this on a Saturday. Now, I've obviously I've been wondering what's going on here. Anyway, well, I knew a bit about it, but can you explain to me what's the heart of this and when did he start and what 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 gave you the idea to do this well what happened was um cornerstone fellowship we were we worshipped at um a community center uh, and worry. what had happened was that um we had um while we worship at this community center mm. as you might know that um Sorry, let me just sort this out. Sorry. Yeah, that's sorry. As you might <laughs> yes. know, um, the pandemic came. So mm. they shut down the buildings. Mm -hmm. And at the time they shut down the buildings, mm. um, the Lord impressed on me, like, look, okay, the building might be shut. Okay. But church is not shut. Okay. Do you get, do okay. You, okay. You get me? So like that. the yeah. Lord impressed on me and he told me to go to this area in Nottingham. And I went there. I went from August. We was on the chase. We've been doing this from August mm. every Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we did have a bit of time out, but um, yeah, we've been doing it. And what happened was we went on the chase and we brought the word to the streets. So what we've done, we brought church to the streets, church on the street. So wow. we we set up, we got a few tents, mm -hmm. uh, we got a generator, mm -hmm. we got a praise and worship team together, we got a band together. And as you know, we, we got various preachers together. And we went out and delivered the word on the streets. And the reason why we done that was because we understood that in the time of pandemic, people will be filled with fear, mm -hmm. not knowing what to do. People's mm -hmm. mental health would decrease, mm -hmm. you know. And we had to go out to bring the message of hope that Jesus still reigns even in this pandemic. So that was our mission wow. on doing that. Just like the, well, like we were saying, just like the emergency services. We are the spiritual emergency service, and that's what we've done. Wow, wow, uh, that I'm feeling your heart behind that. Um, you know, when you worshipped in a in a community center, and now sometimes people would say that okay, I work in a uh, we worship in a community center as well, and they feel like they're a bit more closer to the community because they're in a community center, not in a church. Did you feel that? Yeah. Um, did um when obviously the community center situation came after you and god impressed you to carry on on the streets did you was it 
was the community connection the shock of the real connection that you were starting to have in the community did it shock you or did you know it will be way, way tighter was he shocked with the love he got from the community yes i think we was weren't we i tight they they came out but we knew i knew that i i what i did know mm. is once god told you to do something just do it Come on. and yeah. what i did know that it, it, it related it correlated with jesus this is yeah. what he done yeah so yeah. he wasn't in the building Good. he he Good. was in the community Good. so it it made us understand that Lovely. well we're just doing what jesus did basically yeah. do you do you understand so that's yeah. what we done i want to pick up pick up on something that you said there you said that you know um um that um you was initially a bit shocked how the community responded sometimes we have a fear of of actually oh they will reject our message you know we just have an assumption sometimes oh they they're not interested in whatever and the feedback and some of the testimonies i picked up from isaiah which i want, I want isaiah to elaborate on is some of the actual contact with street and and, and and again guys oh yes we'll get to the ten thousand pound situation but we had to show is we want to find out what has earth has been going on here you know what i mean and it's important for us to get the context of what's going on in the community in that in um now um if you can you know is there any testimonies or any situations that you can give us you know whether it's for yourself or, or isaiah you know you guys can give us when communicating with people out there and also expand on it you're not just singing out there i heard that you're actually practically supporting people as well yes we do we give the food food to the homeless mm -hmm. and the community we give away free food and wow. every week we make free food burgers jerk chicken you know sandwiches drinks free drinks for the kids and yeah it is it, it it was just amazing it was amazing Beautiful. Isaiah would you like to elaborate on like yeah I mean first I'd like to just say that um yeah as Pastor Shed says we, we do feed the community and the reason why I say the community because the community actually includes the homeless people as well oh, uh, one of the things I've learned in the mm, pandemic you can't assume mm. that because someone's not homeless that they actually have food in their cupboard mm. and that's one of the assumptions that we have we assume that because people don't live on the streets they're okay and many people are not so we've had young children come in getting a meal and then coming back with their brother and their sister and say can I take one home for my mum because we've got no food at home and so mm -hmm. we realize Jeez. that we have a major problem mm. on our hands and also also want to insert this as well because this is important we're not a feeding project that has church we are a church that feeds the community the church has the right according to boris johnson's guidelines to meet outdoor and to worship and so we don't want to justify our, our presence in the community because we feed that's that that's something that jesus said we should do that's a that's a facet of what we do and mm -hmm. um, we right. realize that the message of jesus christ must be given we've had someone come and say i was going to commit suicide wow. because of what mm -hmm. i heard in the story. they stopped me from taking my life and they've been come coming to now. the church on a regular basis as a result we've had gang members coming to the church coming for prayer we've had people suffering with severe mental health issues coming to the church we've had people that have had no finance no money they've come and the church has been able to bless them and then we've had this which is what we overlook we've had everyday people that are doing well in life but they are lonely and they need a sense of community love and spirituality what price can you place on putting someone that's lonely taking them out of loan that there is no price and so there are so many facets so many stories that we could give um and we just understand that if jesus was here this is exactly what Jesus would do. He would go to, I, I personally, I wasn't so surprised by the response because I've been doing outreach for years in Jamaica, mm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. And I know mm -hmm. that what people want is love. You know, if mm -hmm. you go somewhere and you show love, people will be drawn to that. Mm -hmm. Whether they're rich, white, black or poor, people feel your heart when you're sincere. Yeah. And so we've been going out and just showing the heart of Christ through, as I said, through spirituality, singing, music, preaching, and through doing um, acts of kindness. And it has been very, very impactful. The other day I was out um, with Pastor Shez, we were in Bullwell. Mm -hmm. And I saw this young guy, he was clearly from the gang culture type life thing, very clearly we spoke. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just said something to him and he said to him, he said, I really needed to hear that now because you don't understand what you just said. Of course wow. I did because the Lord laid up the to him, so I did understand. <laughs> However, for him, yeah. it was a defining moment. And I thought to myself, if we weren't there in a pub car park, he would never have heard that at that time. That's how powerful mm -hmm. it was. It was like a destiny moment. And what I shared with him was really life-changing, like literally. So we don't take it for granted that mm. we have this precious opportunity to touch people where they need to be touched, how they need to be touched, and key when they needed to be touched. Wow. I, I, no, no, guys, that's fantastic. And I think that, you know, I, I, I do think this is a situa uh, uh, situation uh, in terms of COVID that, you know, it's a time for the church to 
to um, to really reflect in how we engage uh, with our communities. Um, I, I, you know, um, I, I people know me. I'm very passionate about the um, the the situation that we have with um, with, with racial tensions, and yes. um, also I'm very passionate about you know the the, the lack. Um, and this is and and, and 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 when people said, oh, look, there's that church doing this here, but if we had to show is in general. Uh, engagement we've been very we've got very conservative within our churches very conservative very prim and proper I, you know and 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 we've, yeah. we've forgot our first love love and it's important that we we st- just fall out from conservative care about people that are are less fortunate from you that's how we can we, we easily are distancing from uh, from from peoples because we're kind of focusing on this new get into heaven culture and forgetting where we come from and it's amazing and i want to want to focus on this point you gave him jerk chicken now what we usually do when we give food to people is give them a tin of beans um the as the brand that costs six pence the, the white packet you know the white label everyone knows that white label you see them pile up in church yeah ready to give to the poor but yet they gave you gave your first fruit that is just that is massive sorry i have to emphasize that point because i've seen some of these white tins in the food banks giving people the uh the the the, the, the corner stone yeah. you know, not even the cornerstone the little throwaway things me now i want that me now i want this me now i want this and then uh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you can have this you can, but you gave jerk like not even you know what I mean? Pepper chicken, you know the chicken that he, 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 nah, season. He said, yeah, you can have that one. I've got my jerk. And <laughs> it know? weren't leg and fries either. You've got press pieces too. Listen, uh, <laughs> man. No wing, you know, man. <laughs> the man that, g- 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 say, I don't want the wings and give them the wing and the neck. You know, people don't know about neck these days. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Look, 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 look at it like this. Look Go at on. it like this. And I'm going to give you a quick story. I'm, yeah. I'm an ex-prisoner. I went to prison in 1992. Yep. Yeah. One of the best gospel groups of that time came into the prison and sang to me and that made a big impression on me okay wow when god when god wanted to win the world he gave his best he gave jesus christ that is his way of communicating to the world and so why would you go into a community that you're trying to win and give them rubbish <laughs> give your best so partner shares mm. partner shares have the Airbnb and takeaway she has her staff to cook top quality food and give them the best because when you give people the best whether they're in a bad place or not you're saying mm. to them you're worth it you, 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 yes. you know you, you're valuable you know mm-hmm. you deserve the best and mm-hmm. some people in their mind they think that they deserve the white label but they think well i'm poor and i'm nothing but when we were in a bad situation god gave his best to show that we could become his best and so for us right. we just want to give, yeah give people something quality and trust me the further the food good enough the food good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm literally eating it right now i'm like it's going like the soft chicken and the and the and the brown no, no, sorry to get, get, get too excited man just put some cocoa bread with it anyway still so, so um <laughs> <laughs> just gave me think listen man you know where to go not in mio check out pastor Chess's food joint but um in this in this journey um guys i think you know we explained you know why you did it in this pandemic because of the situation there yeah and you explained that you know you are making a difference 100 percent now um what what i would like to do is um um speak to you about you know other churches in the community in where you are have there been supportive to what you're doing not individuals you know and i'm not saying to point out any names but as a church community back to you because obviously if you're based and obviously in birmingham we're not that close to you but in nottingham they would see what you're doing have you had other pastors and ministers back in this course well no we had a couple okay. we had a couple we, <laughs> yeah. i would say two but okay wow well. apart from that no no wow no. wow okay so they, they wouldn't even okay cool and and guys i sleep you for this season i think that it's it's sad to 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 hear this that you know we talk about the unity of the kingdom and 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 you know sometimes you probably are gifted and the right people to do this if i haven't got a skill set but i can back you i can i, I can give you some mm-hmm. ammunition i can i can i can say yo why are you out there we'll be praying on top of that what cost do you need to do is help to cover this and that and that with a little that i have you've had really not much of that i'll, I'll tell you the mm. truth roger i think i think what the challenge is is this um, mm. if, if i may say so mm. i think many churches don't actually understand the privilege that boris johnson has afforded us to continue worship beyond the church walls and so Come on now. when they see us out there doing that they think that we're rebels some some people don't know the guidelines they think that we're being rebellious mm-hmm. and so some mm-hmm. people wouldn't get involved with it and think well them breaking the law they shouldn't be outside we we is on zoom so why they have to go <laughs> they should stay inside here yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. 
when they see us outside, I think some people assume that we're breaking the rules. But what has happened since the media coverage has come and the story has been more highlighted and more facts have been listed, mm. um, the community of pastors have now got behind pastor sheds because they're seeing the facts from two perspectives. They're seeing, so come for on. example, um, there was a story on the Daily Mail online, a whole page, and the, whoever the media coverage, whoever the reporter was, he showed a video clip of me walking towards the police and showing that the police are here to support us. He showed a clip of me praying for alcoholics and for things. They showed pictures of Pastor Shares ministering. And then they also showed that we were in the community singing and ministering. So this person obviously wanted to give a balanced, balanced perspective. So Good. the media Good. actually showed for those that wouldn't come and see what was happening. They know so all over the media. So when they <laughs> saw that, um, they did actually contact Pastor Shares and reach out to her. So now the support has kind of changed. But initially, the truth is, and we do know this for a fact. We know that people were watching our videos. We know Facebook tells you yes. they're watching. We knew yes. exactly who was watching. Um, so we know they were watching. We knew they saw, but they were very, very quiet. Again, mm. maybe because they thought that we were being rebellious. But now, with the guidelines being clearer, with the guidelines being shown on the Daily Mail, people understand that actually, you know what? There is actually space for this to happen. So you know how it is. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to help you plant the corn? Yeah, yeah, he wants to eat the corn cake. That's how it is sometimes. No, that's fantastic, and and, and the beauty of it, uh, uh, Isaiah. I think that um, you, um, I've, of all the media stuff I've seen that you guys put out there or whatever, um, you never came across like you're not out here. We are. You know, sometimes people get that whole. Um, it's never yeah. been like that, and that's not what they're for. And and I think that sometimes. Um, I felt like in this season, there's some high-chested people would say, "Oh, well, you, I'm on Zoom or I'm going to church still. Oh, I'm doing this on the streets." It's never been like that, and the the, the vibe that I've got through um, social media, especially on, on your profile there, Isaiah, as as has been um, 100. You know, it's it's been it's been like, "Yo, this is what's happening. The singing going on. I'm going, boy." It, how you get the power for this? Oh, I'm because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a technical guy. Yeah, I'm just looking at how did you power them speakers? <laughs> you know, using generators. That's just how I think, anyway. You know, um, but absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, no, that's great. Yeah, we did. We, we got generator. We bought a generator, mm -hmm. and that is exactly how we done. We got everything together, along with the guys, along with a technician, an engineer, sound mm. engineer. We got a proper team together. It yeah. wasn't something that we done wishy washy. Mm -mm, we mm -mm. we put we put ourselves into it and we done it yeah exactly yeah. And, and 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 we we went along with the guidelines and we done what we was told to do according to the guidelines yeah that, that that's fantastic now quick quick question just l looking forward because hopefully we're going to get a four out in this summer um when it comes to lockdown regulations and so on like that the sunshine's out right now and i can't believe it blue skies maybe because of the lack of cars or driving i don't know if it's that or but that's just my like kind of little hint out there but um we're going to be getting into, into more su uh, summertime hopefully by uh, my birthday june the 20th we'll be running around like joker so the big party you know you know it's at people um but what in your heart do you feel that this is a long time change for yourself um, um pastor is this going to be the, the move forward or are you looking looking back to get back into the community center or you feel that this is a new way for you this is i definitely feel that's an it's a new way for us mm -hmm. and what i do believe that um we're going to need a building to disciple people 100%. and that but yeah. as for spread as as for spreading the gospel this is the new way the church has left the building and that's what that's the new way that we've got our new way forward no that, so yeah that, that, that's fantastic and, and i'll encourage you in that because i do feel that we've got stale in our approach um um i think that sometimes a little bit of oppression is needed to force the best out of us you know and a bit of squeezing because um you know you look at the early apostles they were they, they were they were they were you know pick your spot they actually was in synagogues synagogues were like us going to mosques now you know what i mean and and talking and reasoning with people they actually just reasoned with people in the synagogue where hold on you guys rejected christ i'm going to talk about christ right here um so mm -hmm. um so i think it's absolutely fantastic with that and um i would say to people as well how can people get to um support you because people are like it's oh my gosh they see this interview now and go oh my gosh i need to i need to back you guys you know in in that whole uk kind of oh oh, oh i don't get my hands dirty but they do you know what i mean so how can i support you how can 
we support you how uh, what are the different formats and ways that you guys practically need support right now i will say that we need a church car park <laughs> That's okay. number one to go and to, to go and worship in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody out there with a church for car park, mm -hmm. just support us in that. Get in touch and let us know that we could come on your where your car park is or your surrounded building of the church mm -hmm. and come and support and oh. and bring the word of God. So that's a good. That's the first point of support that we need. First of all, we need a place to do it mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. spread the gospel. So if anybody's got a building out there or a, um a car park actually that we could come and spread mm. the gospel mm. that's that's the kind of support that we do need right now and support of prayers come on. we need the church yeah. to come together mm -hmm. and to pray that god's will be done yeah mm -hmm. that his will will be mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. so that we could um spread the gospel mm -hmm. and you know and that god will lead us to the places that he wants us to go so where we cast our nets, they will be full with souls for Christ. Mm, yeah, that's a that. And then also, yeah, go. Sorry to interrupt, but the people that's can cool. follow us on um, Cornerstone Fellowship Nottingham UK Facebook page. The page is Cornerstone mm -hmm. Fellowship Nottingham UK. Really? People can follow us there to see more. And um, we have bank details there where people can sow into the vision. As we said, we've been feeding people every week for free. Um, just to let you know, Pastor Shares has in the five months of being on the street, she has never ever ever raised one offering on the street never she has paid for this out of her own pocket she won't say it, but i can say it because i'm allowed to she has paid for this out of wow. her own pocket every wow. week wow. um singers and musicians don't come there for free um sound engineer is not free she has brought gazebo she all the equipment she has paid for it out of her own pocket and some people have come along to our here pass and take this but she's never made a public appeal um, on the streets not once because that was Crazy. made in her heart not to do that at this time and so people so i need people to understand that if we were rebels then we at least we're paying for it we're paying a great price we're not just paying but we're paving we're, we're pining we'll do something and it, yeah also, I believe that this is going to become normal for the church. The church is going to have to get out of the building. There are regulations coming, and I don't think many people understand that in years to come, what's becoming the new norm is the old way. Our forefathers from many denominations held outside meetings. This was normal back in the 70s and 80s. <laughs> yes. back to yeah. This yeah. is how many people became born again. And yeah, so it's not on. really new. Yeah. We just get back to foundation. So, yeah, they can follow Cornerstone Fellowship Nottingham UK. Mm. They can also call us on 07 467 one four six two five three that's oh seven four six seven one four six two five three or zero seven five five two five six nine seven six eight that's zero seven five five two five six nine seven six eight whatsapp Be us text us and yeah. we pray for people you can send prayer we have intercess that will pray and um, if if you're in the local area or when things open up, come and join us. Come to the service. Come and worship with us. And we need people to pray and to attend That's and pray for Pastor Shares. I must say this, you know, um, this is her church. She's the pastor. It's a great vision. She's paying a great price for us to continue. You know, when you're pioneering and you're doing something, people look on. They have lots of opinions. Sometimes people are praying in secret. But it's good to stand with someone to send a message. Oh, I love what you're doing. God bless you. Keep up. We go. Oh, I know someone that has this. How can I help? Pray for Pastor Shares and um, keep us in your prayers. Yeah. And you know what? guys you know you know bob that's fantastic and i'm asking people to 100 support but i'm flipping up the um the interview totally upside down because you know what i've enjoyed this conversation so much like the flow of it and just focus on ministry because you know what i'm not into the hype things but i thought before we go just and this is almost like a side this the side dish to it but just um give us the facts of what exactly happened sorry about because you know what guys i just enjoy talking about the ministry and the heart behind this and, and whatever we got so caught we got so caught up in that that we totally ignored the whole and this is what the beauty of 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 of, 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 of us as people we've just enjoyed just the just the whole heart of 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 of, of, of reaching out to people but i just want to i just want people just to um, just to get the facts of what exactly happened because obviously some people want to report it that and 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 and, 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 and and you know what sometimes i always say to people god always takes care of the just so whether secular media picks things up you know we he will use the, when people get scared oh he don't know listen he will use who he needs to use i always say he can use a donkey he can use anybody if you now listen he'll find a way for people to listen to the truth yeah so just explain what happened a couple of weeks ago just from your perspective just to want to get the facts down just before everyone goes roger you know even talk about listen we just talked about the heart 
yeah <laughs> and i just enjoy talking about hearts but, but guys uh, can you explain that to me uh, what exactly happened and how did it go down for yourselves oh sure okay so basically um as said we've been doing church and street for five months we've been supported by the police we've had police officers in attendance we've had pcos which are the community police in attendance we've been liaising with the local authority and council telling them where we're going to be we were on the chase and st Anne's for five months st Anne's is deemed to be hood um, we were there open, uh, literally on the chase um, uh, for five, four months and we, when we were there they then told us we have to move on and so at the suggestion of the local authorities and the PCO they told us to go to Hyacinth Green which is Pepper Park by Asda that is known to be having one of the highest crime rates in Nottingham there are lots of drunks and um, lots of addicts and lots of alcoholics and mentally ill people literally on that square that's where they sent us now for us we were happy so we were like yeah that's where we want to be <laughs> so we went we did an open air service it was snowing that day it snowed rain it did everything all in one day that day so we did yeah. the survey um the police came along uh that's where the reporter first picked up on it we were there then the police came and said well guys you know what great service whatever but it's a bit of a small space and it doesn't look good for covid it's too small mm. so they said you can't be said so we moved to a pub car park uh, uh, there's a pub landlady she's part of the ministry she loves the ministry she said come to my um wow. pub car park and have the service Crazy. here yeah. Now, the the, the, the the car park is owned by the brewery. It's private land, so we know the law. It's private land. We go there, we have a service. We were there for mm-hmm. two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, had a wonderful time the police supported us the police actually emailed us we spoke to them about it they said they're going to send officers to be on the grounds with us i have video footage of that mm. police were there we've had police come along eat the jerk chicken we've had police come along and tell us that they're impressed with the way that we're complying with the covid guidelines you know you're mm-hmm. wearing masks still that's good that's fine and some of them said we think you're doing a great thing you're helping us with our job you're reaching people we can't reach um we were there and then they came back and said we can't go back on that car park so then we went to another car park we found another car park where the, the the landlord actually owned the land it wasn't brewery owned he owned the land and he said mm. fine no problem come here we went onto that car park we began to set up as we normally do the police came down parked a van in front of the entrance and said you can't have this service so we said why they said you're breaching covid rule we said but what are we breaching we've been mm. on the street for five months we've been amazing with your officers they said an email has been sent telling you that you can't have the service so we don't want you to come out we said we're on private land we're covid secure Boris Johnson says very clearly that you can do outdoor worship on a um, on a church, a church grounds, or and this is the guideline that we stand on. You can use a community centre or a familiar space um, that can be used. Which for it doesn't a regular have to be a church building. building. Yeah. In other words, it doesn't have to be a church building. Wow. The government guidelines say that. And so we're on the now. I know some people are saying, "How could you guys go to a pub?" Why do you think they call Jesus a wine bibber and a friend of sinners? Because Jesus went to the place where wine drinkers mm. were and yeah, yeah, yeah. sinners were. 100%. 100%. So we're on a pub car park. We're outside of the building, and so they came along. They said we couldn't. Um, that, that you know they were vehement. We we we, we kept we, we kept refuting their claims and quoting the guidelines. So they called another officer from the station. Then they called for another one. Then finally they called the inspector. Now by this time. Um, because they had blocked the entrance, some people got out of their cars and walked onto the park, pub car park grounds. Um, the inspector came and said, look, you guys are here. This cannot go on today. You guys need to leave. He said, if you don't leave, we're going to start issuing fines. The officer said, I don't want to give you guys the fine. He said, I don't want to do it. Because they know us. We've yeah, been yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, course. Yeah, man, you got a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We, we build yeah. a relationship. Yeah. We're not working against the police. We're working with the police. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. And if we hadn't been, we, if we hadn't been, we couldn't have been on the street for five months of the pandemic. That says it all. And so, um, he, he issued past the um, chairs with a £10,000 fine, with, um, with a summons for a £10,000 fine. And he then, he then proceeded to tell the rest of the people that if you don't leave, um, we're going to give you £200 fines each. Mm-hmm. Now, from what I have video footage of a policeman saying that a ten thousand pound fine is given for thirty people gathered. There were not thirty people in the car park, and the reason why the people were standing in the car park because the police van blocked the entrance to, for people to drive in and stay in their cars. So people got out to see what was happening. There were mm-hmm. people outside. We have all some video, and so that was issued. And then we turned to the police and said, "We can't send everybody home right away. We have a jerk. You're telling us to pack up and leave. We have a boiling hot jerk pan here with chicken on it. We can't move the red hot jerk pan. We have to wait for the food to cool, then cool it down." The police permitted us to stay to finish cooking the food and to give the food to the few people that have remained. And so okay, we did that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We did that. We did that, catch mm. this, we did mm. that, we packed up, we left. Mm. We then went to, and the officer, 
inspector, I could call his name, but I won't for now. The inspector yeah. said to us very clearly, he said, you're not having church here. You can go to a church car park. He said, don't come back here. We had already yeah. booked a church. We had already booked a church for the funny way anyway, because we didn't want to stay on the ground because we realized that people might be funny. We yeah. booked yeah. a church. Yeah. Okay? yeah, cool. cool. We booked the church. Yeah, cool. The police proceeded to go to the church to ring them and tell them don't allow these people to come oh, on your grounds they make lots on. of noise and it's going to be a disturbance which is not the truth okay so mm -hmm. when pastor Chen then received a text message from the secretary of the church saying you guys can't come here the police told us don't let you come here we were like excuse me we rang her and asked her who told you she gave us the name of the female police officer that spoke to her and told us so we have all this on record we have it fine so then we then we, we went and booked another car park we we found a communal car park a church car park that worked through a business center mm. we paid the business center mm. we paid for the security officer to be on duty mm -hmm. we go to the grounds we have a wonderful service mm -hmm. while the service is going on two police officers turn up no itv turn up first of all itv turn up with a yeah. camera filming okay <laughs> pastor Shea goes up to him and says to him if you're going to film yeah. do this properly why are you here filming? just come on in because we're not breaking the law so if you want to film film yeah. so we know we're not breaking the law we're in the church car park okay yeah yeah the cameraman comes in he films on different angles he says i like what you guys are doing he said i think it's good i just want to show around the perspective two police officers turn up i go over to them with a solicitor we have a solicitor present we go over and we engage them we have a conversation we say what's the problem we've received a couple of complaint calls from the um from local residents concerning um you guys being here so we explain to them this is the church car park mm. the government guidelines say that outdoor worship is allowed and we're social distancing everybody's in the car the police the male officer says to me well we can see you're wearing masks you're social distance we don't have a problem what time will you finish i quote between 4 30 and 5 o'clock they say fine we'll come back and make sure everything's running fine at around four between four and 4 20 maybe mm -hmm. seven police officers turn up with the same two officers and tell us that our gathering is illegal oh, i then God turn around and say how can the gathering be illegal when boris johnson has a clause in the guidelines saying outdoor worship and said you can worship on a church car park they mm -hmm. turn around and say well we don't know if you have the right to be here because um you're here on this car park and this is a community it's, it's um, a business center i said no this is a communal car park with the business center there and the church here and the church uses this car park and the pastor has given us permission to be here and he's supporting us his sons have come down he's come down they argued well we need to hear from the pastor they didn't know that the pastor was going to come down he was on his way wow they are where's your risk assessment we got our risk assessment we, oh, I, read the guidelines. No. I read the guidelines <laughs> to them. i had the guidelines screenshotted on my phone I, we read yeah, the yeah, guidelines yeah, to them yeah. they still argued they were on their radios back and forth well so then the pastor comes and says i back these guys i give them support they book they paid they then turned around and said well our superiors have told us that they're in breach and we're going to give you a ten pound ten thousand pound fine. They gave Pastor Shares another ten thousand pound fine. Oh, they it? issued me with a ten thousand pound fine. What? I'll tell you what yeah. happened, Roger. Right I'll tell you what yeah. happened. They issued, her, they issued her with a ten thousand and then myself. Now, we've taken legal <laughs> advice. We've taken legal advice again yeah. after yeah. that. Mm. And our legal team, they can't believe what they're seeing and hearing because we are following the guidelines to the T. Yeah. Um, so we asked them why you're breaching guy. What kind of um, well the guideline? We said what have we breached the guideline? Our superiors. Who are your superiors? We don't have to tell you that. We have all this on video. You know, we literally. I mean, we're wow. in their face. We've got all this on camera. We got it on video. Every bit of it. And we're saying at this point, you, you told us to go to church car park. We did it. Yeah. We're we're COVID. We're masked. Yeah. Um. We we we, we have we a good our, system. Mm -hmm. and we got our risk, the police, risk assessment. We have the risk assessment. The police have commended us. We notify the police as we should do it, as the guidelines suggest that you may have to do. Yeah. We email them. Mm -hmm. We phone them. Mm -hmm. We speak. I'm like, what more can we do? Wow. Um, and so they've told us if we go back out, we'll be fine. And then they, they sent us another email and told us that these gatherings are illegal. Do not go back out. But the government guidelines say they are not illegal. So do we listen to Boris Johnson, who's the head of the government that pays you to send an email? Wow. <laughs> or do we listen to you, who is the employee? The government guidelines tell us very clearly. So at this point, we're saying, this seems like harassment. Yeah. This seems Whoa. like discrimination. <laughs> because then one, one of the officers, Roger, said this, because you're a street pastor and you don't own a church building, oh. you don't have a right. Oh, this, check this, check this, check this, check this. Oh, because you don't have a building, because you don't have a building, you don't have the right to be out there having service. So what you're saying is, let me give a comparison. 
You're saying that a homeless man doesn't have a right to eat because he doesn't have a dinner table. You're saying because we don't have a building, we don't have the right to worship. When the government guidelines stipulate outdoor worship is fine and worship in a community center, which obviously suggests the person doesn't own a building, why they're going to a center. So what you're now saying is, because we don't fit your perception of what worship looks mm-hmm. like, you mm-hmm. have the right to discriminate mm-hmm. against us and tell us that we don't have a right yeah. to worship when Boris Johnson clearly says we do. So what we understand now, this is actually discrimination. Come on now. This has gone Straight. beyond you. This yeah. is going Straight. beyond you thinking about us worshipping. You're now trying to tell us how we can worship when the law says we can. And I'm saying some people eat perfect fried chicken. Some people eat KFC chicken. Some people eat jerk chicken. It's all chicken, just seasoned different. Don't yeah. mess with our seasoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Straight. Don't play with our seasoning because Straight. there are people that Come love the <laughs> taste of how we do what we do. Yeah. There are people that will not go into your restaurant. They may not go to your place, but they. we've had people tell us, Roger, they've said, I, hey, I would never go into church, but I'll come to this. I yeah. don't have to dress up. I don't yeah, have to come wear on. a smart clothes. Come on. You know? uh, like, like this is on the street. I, I, I can wear trainers. I can wear a track suit. Um, and they're like, you know, and we just love the love. We love the vibe. We can feel the love. Like you feed the people. It's everyone's welcoming. You know, I love the fact we, there's different cultures here. Um, and and you know what it is as well? Uh, Sorry to interrupt, Isaac. Sure, go what ahead. Go is, ahead. It, what Come it on. is, Christ has called us for the unsaved. He's commissioned us for the right. unsaved people mm. yeah mm. where are you gonna find unserved people unsaved people not in the church Come on. do you understand what i'm saying to you they, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're already getting ministered to yeah. we have to go to where they are yeah do you yeah. get what i mean yeah. we have to go to where they are paul said that he was all we were all things to all men do you get what i mean right. we have to be we have to be wow we have to change up our change it up and relate to the people do you get what I mean? we have to relate to the people and so if that means that we go to Crazy. a pub car park, mm, if that mm. means I end up I end up in a mosque car park, mm, mm, yeah, mm, mm, I mm. will be there. Yeah? Uh, and, and, and what a shame it would be on the church if I end up in a mosque car park. And you know what, Pastor Shez, I have to salute you because you're a business owner. And in this season right now, I know personally as business right. owners, we're having no support especially the, the, the um, i'm saying that they always talk about this furlough and system but let's keep it real yeah we're not really very the big mm. businesses are getting looked after because everyone's at home smoking two cigars and 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 enjoying the furlough and getting yeah. all covered and whatever yeah, yeah. um, um yeah. I, I mean the small businesses now we have to shut down we can't function like we usually function with and it's in it, mm-hmm. in it and they're saying that oh we're gonna give you a little couple of grand and then Oh, by the way, um, um, I'm just hanging, there, hanging there, and they're killing off uh, small businesses. But for you to actually be, be almost as the word say, bossy in a situation to stand up and says, you know what, I'm gonna give, you know, what I'm saying, I'm gonna, ca- uh, I'm gonna give out of what? Like everyone else is crying in the corner, and you're giving, yo, that, that's, that's, and yeah. this, this guys, you know, um, this is why I, I love doing, doing the edge, guys, because I, I want to. Ex- you know, it challenges me. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we can spend all day looking at our four walls and our businesses and going, Lord, we can lock up the place. We can't do nothing. We can't do this. What but you've actually said, yeah. you know what? I'm going to keep, I'm going to give even more when I'm not meant to give. You know what I mean? Defying logic. Mm-hmm. And and as, as I, 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 yeah. and I think there's there's a lot of do-good, do-gooders within, not only within, the world itself out there because sometimes we always look at the world and say oh i bet it was somebody like this but sometimes our own conservative christians are there almost yes you know what i'm saying yes, almost you know, uh, with, with the chin up, let's be real you know what i mean with the chin up going oh oh w- w- we need to shut this down because it's not what the christian thing is meant to be so i have to do that conservative voice but um <laughs> but, <laughs> not assuming that they all sound like that but um but i'm, I'm uh, but i find that you know and my my own personal journey is that sometimes it's the brother that's on your left and your right that should be backing you should be investing into you are the ones that are in position in 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 authority you know we have people in authority and using authority to keep the gospel from flowing so if you're listening pc so and so yeah enough love still (laughs) it's still coming through but listen guys um 
that was that's absolutely fantastic and and like he says ray and i think we need to call it out what it is whether you see it as as a, as a discrimination because of the way you worship discrimination how you look discrimination if you're using too much jerk we want some more bacon and egg you know uh, whichever whichever way you look at it you know um uh, uh whichever element of discrimination it is guys the reactor show is that you've stuck to the guidelines i know churches right now that are worshiping with the guidelines in as i in a uh, in, in churches and, they, and they're sticking to it and they haven't yes. had no one knocking the door no one's got you know I me mean? but then well, you, you you guys decide well, to go outside i mean Rod, let's, let's, Rod, 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 let's face it let's face it you know um you know we've had people say things like well you know you know just the way it looks and i was like what do you mean well you know a group of black people <laughs> playing music having food right what does what does that mean? Like, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that because a group of black people are gathered in the street worshiping God in a way that's a bit different? Are you saying there's something wrong? Is there something wrong with that? Are you suggesting that mm. we can't play music that has a cultural perspective and dance and and sing mm. when the Bible says to praise Him in the dance? Are you Correct. suggesting that yeah. there's something wrong with us wearing everyday clothing mm. and maybe having a bit more color to what we do? Is there something wrong with that? Because you like it for Notting Hill Carnival, so I don't know why we can't do it in church. It's the biggest mm. street festival in the UK, after all. It's the biggest street festival in Europe, as a matter of fact. And yeah, many of the um, consumers, many, many of the um, companies make money; they sponsor it. So, are you suggesting? That that when we're exuding our spirituality mixed up with a cultural flavor in a way that's still relevant to everyone present that's that right that's mm-hmm. still ministers mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. still serve and this is why um in our meetings we have them dem- we have various cultures there represent you'll see various cultures are there it's just like like i mean okay there's a brand of chicken i won't call the name because i don't know if you have to edit but there's a brand of chicken that does medium hot and very spicy okay yeah man. when you yeah. go into that restaurant you see you see people from all background because people like the spice i'm saying yeah, man like maybe you should, maybe you should try to taste it before you criticize it maybe you should come to the service and actually sit down and listen to what's been said just like we've had police officers do the first time a police officer came i remember the very first time he came along he drove up in his car and he didn't get out of the car he sat in the car mm. roger the police officer with his colleague sat in the car yeah and he looked for the window yeah and his timing was perfect we have a time of prayer where we pray for boris johnson we pray with the schools for yeah. vulnerable children Come on now. The Come on. yeah he came at the moment when we were praying for the police and roger his face went red like a tomato ketchup bottle because Come he on. could not believe i could see what he's thinking he couldn't believe yeah. that we as black people in the so-called hood were praying for the police because that don't sound popular Jeez, does it sound we pray yeah, for the yeah, police yeah. He got, roger he got out the car <laughs> he comes out mm-hmm. of the car Asked for pastor share speaks to her and stayed for the entire service and said this is amazing we then proceeded to give him a box of jerk chicken he took the chicken gave his colleague one and they went he came back another week and said how great he said i'll I'll try and change my shift to come back (laughs) (laughs) and i I said to the the wife like yo no dinner for me today darling don't worry don't worry (laughs) Uh, um, my lunch was uh, my lunch uh, it was it wasn't greg's today (laughs) <laughs> oh. you know so so, so what, what, what i'm on. saying is i'm saying that we we, we, we have to be open uh, i think look we're in a pandemic we've learned to do life differently why mm. can't we allow people just to express their faith differently why can't we see that mm. someone is actually trying to do something that's relevant to the time mm. and it will be relevant beyond the time because the great commission Come on. after all one of the last things you just said was going to all listen going to all the world, all the world. Mm and mm. preach the gospel and make disciples you can't fish in the boat if you throw your net in the boat all you're going to get is wood we don't want wood we want fish right we are here to catch uh, fish come on come on mm-hmm. and well guys that, that the, this um um conversation is fantastic i think that you know i've i believe this conversation i've achieved i believe i've been blessed by it and i've achieved uh, more of the conversation you know than i even expected you know because you know just seeing the heart of what you guys are doing seeing the transformations and the in the conversations which the battles that you've had doing it and i think that you know who to say it took for the extreme ep- um, events over six five six weeks to really get the church to really get them to really go oh my gosh we need to back these guys you know what i mean it took for that crazy and and, and i can imagine and I, I know you're talking from it from it looking back but i could just imagine the emotion that you must have received you know imagine giving it you know someone giving you 10 grand 
fine you know you like i don't care what anyone says you're not gonna go hey, yeah god thank you you'd be like what the heck am i meant to do <laughs> you know I me mean? i can imagine it almost the actually thing. actually yeah. can go. i stop you there okay go 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 when challenge me challenge, challenge when me when i received when i when i received a 10 grand fine yeah i've got to be very honest god i received it and that t- at that time it's like god replayed into my mind of people getting shot just for mentioning his name oh, of people wow. that are in captivity that cannot sure. work god come on yeah of people that are dying daily because of the name of jesus at that time that fine didn't mean nothing to me i just i just thought god for your name's sake that's what i thought for your name's sake yeah. for your name's yeah. sake and one thing i do know mm. when god told you to do something he's able to defend it true yeah. true 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 that's and- one thing i do know and a hundred percent no I, I i i receive a rebuke because you just said it so hard i'm thinking yeah i believe him man <laughs> yo 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 <laughs> i believe yo they shut me down she shut me down in this place man you know um but what one thing i have to absolutely uh, uh, pastor shares in in a time where everyone's saying god said yeah let's be real everyone's saying god said very loosely yeah, yeah? we've we've grown up seeing god said in church a lot oh yeah you know what i'm we saying have. and, and yes, we've we seen have. a negative side of it and anyone who knows me personally i i i i i not i don't like god i'm not, i got nothing wrong with people god speaking to people but people have used mm-hmm. um god, god's name context. yeah out of context, context and, said, yeah. and use it to use it to control and to pride himself um of course it, yes from when you said that at the beginning you said in the beginning of this conversation that god showed me at this and i'm just listening to this whole conversation i don't doubt god in this and I'm, i'll be real with people you know me I and mean? um, there's a fruit to what to, to everything what god says you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and the fruit mm-hmm. is, is there in abundance yeah and you haven't gone around the place bowl see and says this is the god said cornerstone ministries out here <laughs> whatever there's stuff. No. You, you focused on what you had to do you delivered it and like i said i saw the clips on social media I go back to it i seen the clips for the back of time you know what i mean for, for for month after month after month and i've i i i, I did i didn't see too much of big posters a big you know the whole official go send your paypal payments to here and uh, you know I me mean? this yeah, is where yeah. there's no donation button there there was just none of that just give give continually giving continue giving and on top of that if you, you you met the needs of the people that were hungry we want to preach the gospel but we don't want to feed them and feed their stomachs we, you know what i mean uh, mm-hmm. we give them the little the little white bread that we get right we don't want you know what i mean because we don't have white bread anymore so we give the people just all the scraps but you haven't given the scraps you took the best from your business i salute you mm-hmm. i salute what you guys uh, guys are doing pastor sh- uh, shares you know 100 percent back you i'm going to make sure that a lot of ministers a lot of people back this because like, we see a lot of people get backed for um for some puppet puppet show ministries out there that are not actually doing anything and we and we um, um, and they actually say they're doing whatever they've got the fancy dancy logos they've got the um the envelopes they've got all this out there and they just put down christian on it and it, and, it, and, it, and people said put millions towards it and guys we need to back um uh, what you guys are doing 100 percent. i may not be able to physically be there on the streets on, on on a saturday but what i can do is pray and back their cause and this is what this is yeah. what i'm at Amen. you know what i'm saying and, and and this is what we're doing now i've got to close off now and i have to say i'm humbled and blessed i'm gonna go around to my uncle's shop and just have some jerk because um I, not too spicy though because i can't handle the spicy stuff i'm i'm i'm, I'm a mango and lime man so um <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a bit soft you know when it, when it comes to coy, is it, is it, is it, take the peppers out, please. You know what I mean. So I, I, I'm not that guy. So I'm a little, a little too English, you know. Um, <laughs> as they say. But listen, Me too. I salute you guys. And Isaiah, it's great to see you function uh, 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 um, in, in in all facets. And I, and I hope artists that are looking in there. Sometimes we we look at the artistry, we put great music videos out there. But what are we really doing on a, on a Saturday, on a Sunday, or on our days off and whatsoever within our communities? Where we come from? And we're, we're and, yeah. and 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 it's it's how you've supported Pastor Shares as well. Sometimes we always want to be the head, but you you've gone out mm-hmm. there, you've travelled week in week out. You know what I mean? M1 all day he long. Has, you know what I'm has. saying? The M1 is thank God it's yeah. a bit more clear than it was about five ten years ago. But it's still a bit <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, no, can I just say, Roger? Yeah. Can I just say, yeah. week in week out, yeah. leaving his wife and his kids 
dedicating his time to come down and support me and anything when we had the media thing he actually stayed another week just to support me through that now Crazy. that is dedication Crazy. that is dedication yeah. to god's work yeah yeah and you cannot i cannot pay for that kind of dedication yeah, yeah. i can't pay for it yeah and that's why you that's why i always say what god does he's always able to defend Come he's on, always come able come to on. defend come always on. able come to defend you know I mean? gives you the weapons it gives you the people to support you it gives you the fire yes. it gives you everything to deliver I and mean, then come out of it where you meant to be a minus everybody will say boy her business is about to get closed down right now you're gonna see you flourish we're gonna see pastor shez's um jerk chicken seasoning in asda we're gonna see it all out there <laughs> 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 i'm not speaking that into me don't get me wrong people would love it just hinting out there as that you know what i mean we don't know no levi roots we want some pasta chefs you know what i'm saying so when i saw it out there still some real sauce so so guys so i'm giving some people some business ideas here you know everyone's going mm, back past the chefs but anyway still <laughs> get that sauce get that sauce in there you know unfortunately um, i haven't been called to pass the chicken i'm afraid Oh. That, that's, my husband, that, that's my husband's job okay <laughs> all right all right listen guys you know this is the new man right about here we're the chefs right here. <laughs> but, but no that, that, that's fantastic and and again guys thanks for your time and i appreciate you guys and we're backing you. um you guys and we're here to be extra and that's our phrase for affinity extra we're here to be extra and i appreciate you guys being fast and extra to stand up um, for what you're doing and you're blessing people on a weekly basis. Keep up with what you guys are doing. And any shout outs you want to do, if you, no, no, any shout outs you want to do in the future for what you're doing, do shout us out and we get things going on, man. So God bless you guys. Okay. And God bless you. Thanks again, man. Thanks again. Thanks again. Thanks Thank again. You Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you guys, Thank man. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take. Right, guys. That was a great interview. And guys, do check us out. Do like it and and do do to share this out to your friends and colleagues because it is an amazing conversation. Thanks again. God bless you, Roger. Over and out.